Hello, this is John, and welcome to Cheap, Easy, and Tasty Meals. Today I'm going to prepare what I call beef rendang soup. Now, beef rendang is a Malaysian or Indonesian dish that normally you cook the beef down till it's almost dry rather than leaving uh, much moisture as far as soup or anything. The meat itself is very tender and moist. But I have found when I cooked it that the if you stop a little before it gets completely dry, the sauce or the soup, whatever you want to call it, is extremely good by itself or when you put it on rice or potatoes or something like that. This recipe is easy to prepare, but it does take quite a few ingredients and does take a little time. First, I'm gonna make this for two people, so you start with a quarter of a red onion or you could use three or four shallots if you prefer. Cut it down into chunks and throw it into a blender or food processor because you want to make a paste out of the initial ingredients. Next, cut about a three-quarter inch piece of ginger and then peel it. I usually peel it with a spoon. You could, if you prefer, just cut the edges off with a knife. And then slice it into pieces and again throw it into a food processor. Next, crush and peel three cloves of garlic and throw them into the food processor. At this point, if you want to make this more spicy, you could add chili flakes or a half of a chili pepper to increase the heat of it. Since I'm making a small batch, I'm going to use a small food processor. You'll probably want to use a spatula occasionally to make sure you're pushing this down and getting it chopped well. Put two tablespoons of oil in the bottom of a heavy bottom pan and heat it to medium. Then add your onion, garlic, and ginger mixture and cook it until it's fragrant. About 30 seconds to a minute. Once the paste is cooked 
for a little while, I'm going to add the spices. Salt, chili flakes, cinnamon, coriander, turmeric, cardamom, and nutmeg. Stir them together and let it cook for another 30 seconds to a minute to make sure it's all mixed well. Keep stirring it while you're cooking it to make sure it doesn't burn and also to make sure all the ingredients are well mixed. Next, add your beef. Cut it into one inch cubes. This is about half a pound to three quarters of a pound of rump roast, which I cut into pieces for this dish. Stir it and brown it. Make sure all the sides get a little browning and get covered by the spices. Add a little water if, to make sure that you have something on the bottom. If it boils out, add a little bit more. Now add a little more water mixed with <coughs> lime juice and the zest of a lime. Normally for a recipe this size you would use half a can of coconut milk or less, but since I want to have liquid at the end I'm going to use a whole can of coconut milk. At this point you may want to add a tablespoon of sugar regular table sugar, coconut sugar, brown sugar, something to sweeten it just a tiny bit, but that depends on your taste. Bring it to a boil and then turn down the temperature and let it simmer for 30 minutes to an hour. This is not a traditional beef rendang but I think if you try it, you'll find it's delicious and has an interesting flavor profile. And it's particularly good with potatoes, rice, or even a soup. I hope you try it and enjoy it.